This is a video on correlation. The question states, what is the correlation between the ounces of alcohol students drink the night before an exam and their scores on the exam? The data are shown below. So here's the data. We have ounces of alcohol and we have the score on the exam. So for example, this person didn't drink any alcohol the night before the exam and scored a 98%. So I want to find the correlation between the ounces of alcohol and the exam score. So I'm going to use my calculator to find this. So here's my calculator. I want to start by entering the data in. So I go to stat and then enter for edit. And let's clear out L1 and L2. So I go up to L1, hit clear and enter. I go over, over to L2, I hit clear and enter. And then for L1, I'll let that be the ounces of alcohol. So we have zero, enter, zero, enter, etc. And then finally I enter the last number, 30. And then for L2, that's the score on the exam. That starts with a 98, so 98, and then enter, and 86, enter, etc. And then finally the last number is 55. Okay, now that I've entered my data, I want to find the correlation. So I go to stat again, I go to tests, and then I use the up arrow, that's the easier way to find what I need, until I get to Lin Reg T test. And I hit enter. Okay, the X list was L1, that's correct. The Y list is L2, that's also correct. Let the frequency be 1. For this beta in row, that's for hypothesis testing, which is also very important, but not on this video. That, let's wait on another video and we'll do hypothesis testing. For reg EQ, that's if I wanted to graph the regression line in the scatter plot. Uh, I'm not interested in that on this video, but you can put that in, type it into some equation, and then it would graph it. I'm going to go right to calculate and hit enter. So it gives us lots of great stuff. For us, what we're interested in is a correlation. So I'm going to scroll down until I find R. R is a correlation. So R is equal to negative about 0.85. I'm also interested in R squared. We want to interpret that in this video. And R squared is about 0.73. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so here's the PowerPoint. Remember, R was about equal to negative 0.85, and R squared was about equal to 0.73. Let's interpret R first. So we can say, based on R, that there is a moderate to strong negative correlation. It's negative because R is negative, and moderate to strong because this 0.85 is not very, very close to 1, but pretty close to 1. So I'm going to use moderate to strong. So we say there's a moderate to strong negative correlation between the amount of alcohol consumed before an exam and the score on the exam. People who drink more alcohol before an exam tend to score lower on the exam. Notice the word tend. I use that because correlation does not imply causation. We wouldn't say that drinking alcohol before an exam causes exam scores to be lower. That may be true, but we don't get that from just looking at R. So now let's interpret R squared. R squared, which was 0.73, I write that as a percent because it's easier to explain. We can say that 73% of the variation in the exam scores can be attributed to alcohol drunk. The rest, 
which is 27%, 27% of the variation in the exam scores are attributed to other factors. And I'm done with the problem.